one and only best representative of Young Hollywood standing in front of me. You're darn it's right. Wonderful. Look, I look great for 13. I really feel like I've broken through her. They didn't even card me on the way in. I'm going to get a drink as soon as I get inside. Well, first of all, I have to tell you, I was actually on the set of Shark Tank yeah. a few months ago. Yes. I didn't see you. You went on your lunch break and I sat next I can't to Mark Cuban it. and I, I interviewed Mark. I wouldn't have missed you if I saw you, believe me. Much, lunch must I have had been... a whole long 20 minute conversation with Mark and I'm like, where is Mr. Wonderful? Listen, should be lunch sitting must have been me. really good if I wasn't around for you. That's it. <laughs> Well, first of all, the season is incredible. It's my, it's my favorite show, I Thank have to you. tell you. It is my favorite show. And I love it because, you, like you said, you know, anybody can watch it, no matter what age you are. You could be young Hollywood, you could watch the show. And Look, it's great. I mean, the show celebrates entrepreneurialism. We're so proud of it. Who would have thought young people would watch it? It's the fastest growing family show in America. Right. And we've made lots of millionaires now. We've been on for seven years, and every year it gets better and bigger. I'm really proud to be part of it. It's, it's so much fun. It's crazy. It should be illegal. <laughs> And I want to know, like, you know, you, you're, you're kind of mean, I have to say. No, I just tell the truth. Everybody has me in the wrong light. I'm the only shark that tells the truth. That's why they call me Mr. Wonderful. Well, how many cockroaches have you seen on this season so far? How many what? Cockroaches. Oh, I see lots of cockroaches. <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. It's, you know, if you're called a cockroach, it's because you are one. <laughs> I'm just calling it the way it is. And you what should, makes you know and, that And you should a celebrate your cockroachness. <laughs> You should realize that it's the beginning. You start as a cockroach and you turn into a rat. Then you become a business one day. You turn into a rat. How yeah, is a rat you move better up the than feed, a cockroach? Well, because you move up the feeding chain. That's what happens. So after the rat, then what do you become? Well, you try and become profitable. As soon as you're profitable, you're a human being again. That's the way I look at it. And then there's so many people who come into the tank. You know, What is like the one thing that bothers you the most? I hate it when people don't know their numbers. I just go yeah. crazy. I'm so mad when that happens. They wasted my time. I have to listen to them for 40, 50 minutes, and then I ask them, what's profitability? What's your margins? How fast is your market growing? They don't know. I want to kill them. And then tonight at the AMAs, you're presenting, right? Yes, I am. Uh, best R&B act, and I, I think The weekend is a candidate in that. I think it's going to be very interesting, you know? We'll see what happens. So what's your what's your favorite music genre? Are you, like, who I'm are you a I'm a jazz fan guy. I'm a jazz, jazz guy. you know, I love jazz. You love wine. I love wine, wine. And wine and jazz together. Oh well. I'm really a romantic, that's the truth. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much, you. and hopefully next time. All right. I'm gonna have to come out. You're come not back dead to me. She's not I'm dead not to me. I'm not dead to him. <laughs>